Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add a workflow to a client um, and also how to create a workflow under your templates. So you, under your templates area, you just go to workflow right here um, and it'll bring you to this page. It's easy to add a workflow, you just press add new workflow. So if you shoot more than one thing, you might want to add a separate workflow for everything um, because obviously a wedding workflow is probably going to be different from like a portrait workflow. Um, and then um, under types, you know, like for instance, lead workflow um, for a client that you haven't booked yet, uh, there might be a lot of follow-up tasks and stuff like that that you probably wouldn't have for like a wedding workflow. So you can do several different workflows um, for all the types of things that you might need. Um, so you just add a workflow by clicking add new workflow. I'll bring this up and you just want to name your workflow. And press save. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you now how to start adding phases and tasks to your workflow. Say so I'm just going to click on this one wedding workflow that I just started. Okay. Um, so then I have already added kind of a phase to the workflow, which is a pre-contract, um, which is concludes the consultation and the setting out the contract. Um, and let's say like once they sign the, sign the contract, I want to add an engagement session phase because that's the next step. Um, so we just go add phase, press name engagement session and then let's say for instance I usually shoot my engagement session six months before the event okay. all right so now that you have that phase set up now you can start adding tasks to that phase so the first thing what we need to do is schedule that engagement session first press add task schedule session and you can add any kind of descriptions you want, especially if you have more than one person in your studio. This might be a helpful way to kind of, you know, show other people that might be assigned to this workflow what it entails and what the task entails. So that way they know and don't have to ask questions um, or just to kind of reiterate so that way they understand. OK, I want to add another task. So once you, you schedule a session, let's say you have follow up email for a session. Okay, and press save. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the session. Shoot. And then say after that, you probably want to call. Blog. And then send gallery to client. So for a wedding workflow, there's probably going to be multiple phases, um, but I'm just going to show you now how to put this workflow into a client event um, to show you how it populates. OK, uh, so once you basically create all your phases and however you want your workflow to look, um, you go to your client area, contract client. OK, so this client right here has an event, a wedding next year. You just click on their event and now you go to workflow and you press associate workflow and now in the drop down box it's going to show you the workflow that we just created. Okay, So you press um, the wedding workflow and now you can basically select where you want the workflow to start. So if you want it to start pre-contract or engagement session. However, let's say you already sent out the contract but you so you're on to the next phase. So I'm just going to go ahead and click engagement session and press plus save workflow. So now it's going to go ahead and just populate all those tasks that I had already established in my workflow okay, to this client. So now how you would see this on your dashboard, if you click on your dashboard, okay, all your tasks is going to be here on your dashboard. So that way you can check off stuff, keeps you organized, um, and then also help you keep you on track, um, especially um, regarding to your weddings and your clients. Okay, as always, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel to keep up more Pixify tips and tricks. I will talk to you next time. Bye.